In this video, we'll identify the parts that make up three of Hunter's most popular irrigation valves, and then reassemble each one to better understand how the valves function from the inside out. This video is meant to supplement hands-on participation. To maximize your learning experience, it's best to gather a PGV-101 valve, a PGV-151 valve, and an ICV valve. Disassembling and reassembling these valves outside of a typical installation will reinforce how easy the process is and prepare you for completing maintenance in the field. Here's a 1-inch, 25mm PGV-101 valve that's fully disassembled. First, we'll explain why each part is important. Then, we'll reassemble the valve. The valve we're using is the PGV-101G, which is a globe-style valve with flow control. A globe configuration means it has a spherical body shape and an internal baffle that separates the two halves of the body. Now let's take a look at the parts. Solenoid includes an O-ring and a solenoid seal. Bonnet screws. This model has four bolts that are captive once inserted into the bonnet meaning bolts won't fall out into the valve box during maintenance. Bleed screw for manually opening the valve by releasing water from the top of the diaphragm. Bonnet with flow control, also available without flow control. Diaphragm spring exerts downward force on the diaphragm to aid in valve closing. Diaphragm assembly moves up and down inside the valve to open or close the valve. Diaphragm support ring supports the diaphragm when it's in the closed position. Flow control handle, optional part to aid in valve tuning. Valve body, the rigid outer shell of the valve. Here is a 1.5, 40mm PGV-151 valve that's fully disassembled. Its parts are similar to the PGV-101 valve, with some unique additions. First, we'll cover the importance of each part, then we'll reassemble the valve. Now let's check out the parts. Solenoid includes an O-ring and a solenoid seal. Bleed screw assembly for manually bleeding the water from the top of the diaphragm. Flow control handle used for tuning the valve. Bonnet screws. This model has 10 screws that are captive once inserted into the bonnet. Bonnet 
it's the top portion of the valve. It'll have an electric solenoid and flow control stem assembly. Flow control stem assembly includes the stem, stem nut, and O-ring. Diaphragm spring exerts downward force on the diaphragm to aid in valve closing. Diaphragm assembly moves up and down inside the valve to open or close the valve. Diaphragm support ring supports the diaphragm when it's in the closed position. Body plug used either in the bottom inlet or side inlet, depending on desired configuration, angle, or globe. O-ring for plug. This seals the water from leaking past the threads of the body plug. Valve body, the rigid outer shell of the valve. Here's a one and a half 40 millimeter ICV valve that is fully disassembled. It also has a similar list of parts, although some are unique. First, we'll identify each part, then we'll reassemble the valve. Now, let's take a look at the parts. Solenoid, includes an O-ring and a solenoid seal. Bleed screw for manually bleeding the water from the top of the diaphragm. Flow control handle used for tuning the valve. E-clip retainer. This is the clip that prevents the flow control stem assembly from coming out of place and keeps a tight seal of the stem. Bonnet screws. This model has six bolts that are captive once inserted into the bonnet. bonnet. It's the top portion of the valve. It'll have an electric solenoid and flow control stem assembly. Flow control stem assembly includes the stem, stem nut, and O-ring. Diaphragm spring exerts a downward force on the diaphragm to help close the valve. Diaphragm assembly moves up and down inside the valve to open or close the valve. Diaphragm support ring supports the diaphragm when it's in the closed position. Valve body, the rigid outer shell of the valve.
We hope that after seeing parts that make up Hunter valves and learning how easy they are to disassemble and put back together, you'll feel confident when you need to perform routine maintenance on an irrigation control valve in the field. To learn more about our complete line of industry-leading valves for residential and commercial applications, visit HunterIndustries.com.